Within the last days, we celebrated Guy Sertia's birthday. How beautiful was this cake? Guy had a lovely time with us, and we couldn't be any happier that he spent his Sertia's birthday with us. And then we sent Guy and Presley to Bray Restaurant just around the corner from us. It's awarded as one of the best international restaurants in the world, and see how beautiful the food is here. It's all locally sourced, and the chef Dan Hunter is just doing an amazing job. <laughs> and then we went and picked them up, had a drink with them at the bar, and in the afternoon we spent another great evening in the sauna. In the morning, we got up very early, and Guy and I decided to walk inside the garden while the sun was still shining, and we started the drone. He's a very good drone operator. They start running. <laughs> Abby was very excited. Guy just needed to adjust a little thing, and then the drone would start. And then it started to rain again, and it was time for Guy, Presley, Brett and Brooke to leave the farm. Well, I'm driving. Chevy <laughs> Chase's. <laughs> Bye guys! Bye! So the house is empty now and not long until the farm sitters are coming so I need to pack my bags now and not long until I have my takeoff so I better get started! I am packing, watch how we converted the shook shed into a day spa. In the first episode we showed you Varilda spa and how it looked finished. But here is how the transformation started. In March 2020 we moved to Varilda farm and in July 2020 we got started. I'm a VIP massage therapist from Berlin and I opened my first spa in 2015. When I moved for Brett to Melbourne, I thought I would never be able to open a day spa again as I had one in Berlin as well. So I studied interior design instead and I followed another passion of mine. When we moved here I saw the potential of the old potting shed. A hundred years old and only a little bit painted by previous owners, the old lady was waiting for a new dress. The old roof, carried by beautiful old timber beams, caught my attention. I always loved country style. 
The plan was made, the vision was there. I knew that this would be the perfect place to open a boutique country spa. Brad and I started in the next door chicken shed, yet not connected. The first step was removing the wall metal and I was surprised how it looked. We also got our support by our friends Jamie and Jordi, two young shippies from Melbourne that started the job. Our tractor has been the biggest help to get rid of rubbish and timber. Meanwhile, I went shopping and sorted the interior design and colors. I pictured little double French doors and step by step, cut by cut, they got installed. Our electrician Maddie was also on site for a long time. Also, I pictured a handmade bench top for my basin. Gave some drawings to Jamie and he, 3, 2, 1, got it done! Meanwhile, I was working on the website and word by word I put together. Now the walls are done and flooring went in. In September I decided to use the cottage for a surprising little birthday dinner for Brad. He loved it. Back to work. Eight weeks to go. The pressure was on.
Then we finally finished it, and Varuda Spa was ready for its opening. More than 80 people came to celebrate with us with great music, canapes, and drinks to wish Barilda Spa a great future. After many months of hard work, Brett and I can now enjoy the environment and our little boutique spa cottage. Two and a half years later, Varilda is well known and also got featured in lifestyle and travel magazines around Australia. And now it's time to leave Varilda Farm to go to Germany and France for Christmas. enjoyed the drone footage of the farm I mean isn't that amazing it's just incredible yeah, and the more we do show you stuff about the old farm the less we're interested in selling it which makes it very difficult because we're also really excited about the potential of buying and renovating a shed. Come and pick you up in five days and then we will have Christmas with the family and then we start to France. Get ready for it we've got a lot of traveling to do Yes. And hopefully with the weather we don't get snowed in. So we'll make it to all the places we've planned to go to and start to get an idea of whether it, this is the dumbest idea we've ever had. No, I think it will be incredible. Okay, time to go. All right. Good and fly. Good and fly. Don't miss you. Kussy, kussy. Miss you too. Tschüss. But it's colder in Berlin. Good afternoon everybody. What are we up to, Nisi? I can't you can start see, like that. You can see how impressed she is with it. So we're gonna do what am I gonna talk about? One, two, 